Hey guys, it's Joe from the Crazy New York Driver Show. Today's date is Tuesday, June the 5th, 2012. Before we go any further, I'm going to make a disclaimer. Listen to me, alright? My shows are always about eBay and nothing else. eBay and PayPal. Because what I have to say is very important and I'm trying to help you guys. The same is true here. I am going to make this video reluctantly. I don't want to make it, but it's got to be made. And I would like to tell, tell you guys that normally my shows are 100% G-rated. And I don't curse and do any of that crap because a lot of teenagers sometimes like to watch the videos and learn how to sell on eBay. And I've always kept my shows clean, but this is the one time that we might run into trouble. So, if anyone is not 18 years old, I'd rather you not even watch this video. Okay? This is a very serious topic we're going to discuss. It's been going on for quite a while. And it's about YouTube drama. It's about haters. It's about stalkers. It's about things that have been done to me and things that have been done to you. Enough is enough. It's going to stop now. Now, here's how we're going to do this. Let, let me give you a brief background for those of you guys who don't know me that well. I came to YouTube in 2007 and started making some local New York City videos. By chance one day I saw a guy had made an eBay about PayPal and how they ripped him off. And I really respected the hell out of that guy. So I made an eBay, uh, I made a video about PayPal. That video is still up today. Alright? It's gotten, I don't know, over a hundred thousand hits I think. And people started really liking it. And they started emailing me and asking me questions. And it built up to a... I had a serious thing where I, I used to come out... I'll come out once a week or once every two weeks and I'll make an eBay video. And I'll try and help you guys. That is my purpose out here. I do not get... This is not my job, okay? I have a regular job. I am trying to help you. And quite frankly, you guys seem to be happy. You mean, you know... Most of your comments are positive, and I thank you for them. Most of you guys have been with me forever, and I thank you all. I, I like the new people, too. You guys are great, most of you. You know, I try and give shouts out where I can. You never know, man. I mean, you meet some of the nicest people on here, and you can meet some dicks on here, too. All right? Sure, I've met a few scummers over the years, but I've always been able to keep them in control. Well, this is one time when they just got a little out of hand. I am going to explain everything that's happened over the last couple of weeks, especially. I am going to give you names of YouTubers. And I'm going to ask you now to open a second window. So you'll have two windows open, both on YouTube. One will be listening to me, the other will be following along with the names and the channels I give you and the specific videos that I'm going to cite. This video is going to take a long time and I'm not bashful about it. Alright? Putting out these videos once a week like I do, you know you're going to come in contact with some haters. Now there are different kinds of haters. Some haters are harmless. They'll post a negative comment to your profile and then that'll be it. So when you make eBay videos or any kind of weekly vlog, you're gonna probably encounter haters that's par for the course. I accept it. You know, 
I don't really have a problem with it as long as they don't go overboard. So if you would now open your second browser window, go on YouTube, and I'm going to give you some examples of haters. There are what I call your low-level haters. A low-level hater is somebody that will post on your videos constantly negatively. Never says anything good about me and never addresses the topic. For instance, if the topic happens to be about eBay, the person will totally, totally blow me out of the water with a comment like, Hey, crazy New York driver, you got too much time on your hands. Hey, crazy New York driver, get a life. You know, and you check their channel and they never have any videos or any picture of themselves of any kind. I feel, I do feel sorry for the low level hater because they're people who just are so unhappy with their own life that they try and bring everyone down. Let me give you an example. YouTuber ES80ES. Every single video I make, this person follows me and leaves negative comments. Now, you might not believe it. Check back the last few videos I made. All right? If you want, want me to cite one, with the one where eBay bids are no longer binding. He's on there with two comments in a row. All right? If he hates me so much, why does he always watch my videos? I do not know. But he does. Will I block him? No. He's a hater. I feel sorry for the guy. But I will not block him because, you know, everyone's entitled to their opinion. I don't like blocking people. I've been on YouTube since 2007. I've blocked maybe two. And the reason I blocked them was because they spammed me. Like they'd say the same comment, zing, 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 copy and paste it and go to all my videos. That I'm not approving of, that person would get blocked. Unfortunately, tonight, the list is going to grow. Because I got some stuff to tell you and it's very serious, all right? Recently, I've introduced you to a bunch of new YouTubers who have made eBay videos. I am always happy when I see new faces making eBay videos. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to agree with everything everybody says. Nobody will. Nobody agrees with everything I say. But I, I'm happy to see people who are willing to put their face on camera tell their story, and share their experiences. God bless them. Recently, I've mentioned about half a dozen or a dozen people, new people, that I've brought in. I, I didn't bring them in, but I mentioned them. And I'm glad to have them. But, conversely, there are some bad people out there. It's very easy to tell when a person is bad or has something to hide. All right? Now look at me. You may not like my videos, some of them. You may not like me. But I mean, I'm out here. You can see me. You know where I am. You know who I am, basically. I don't hide anything. Somebody made a negative video about me a couple of weeks ago. And I want to talk about that. I want to talk about somebody else, too. I have, I do not mind when a person criticizes me, either in text or in speech. He's entitled to his opinion, as is everybody else. However, if a person comes after me and hides their face or films in a darkened room, I become concerned because the person is hiding their face for a reason. Either they're guilty of criminal activity or they're so self-conscious 
that they feel they have to hide, that they have nothing to offer. There is no third possibility. All right? Now, I need to tell you a few things right now. I've always been very liberal with letting people leave video responses on my videos. In fact, when I would upload a video, I would check the box that says automatically approve all videos because I was happy to get responses from you guys, positive or negative, I don't care, you know? But I was running into a problem where people were adding videos that had nothing to do with me or eBay or PayPal. I was getting a lot of get-rich-quick internet marketing trash. You know, how to make, you know, a thousand dollars in your spare time. I had quite a bit of it and it was pissing me off. Then about a month ago, one of you guys who shall remain nameless at this point clued me in about a particular video that had been uploaded to my channel that wasn't that doesn't fit my channel subject matter. So he suggested that I start approving videos manually and I realized he was right. So I did that. I, I changed my settings. This is maybe a month ago. So a few people tried to add their videos and I didn't accept them. Okay, because I'm going by the strict rules now. Okay, my strict rules just to put this out in public I will add any video as long as you show your face. If you send me a video with you in a darkened room with your hand on your crotch or wearing a child's mask, I'm not going to add it. You're not credible. Okay? I want faces up here. And I'm, I'm not asking. I'm telling. All right? I'll add your video. You can make a video saying I'm the biggest jerk in New York City. If I see your face telling it, I'll post it as a response. And I give you my word. The days of threats, vulgarity, and cyber stalking and harassment from behind closed doors are over as of now. Okay? Tell me this, in your opinion. You've all seen my eBay videos. What would you think of me if I came out like this? Hey everybody, I'm Crazy New York Driver and I want to tell you about PayPal and who they ripped off. I would have no credibility, okay? Or how about if I tried this? This video is about John Smith. I am going to tell you why I don't like John Smith and his ways. No credibility. All right? Now we're going to get to the meat of the situation. And this is not easy for me to do, all right? And I don't like doing it, but it's got to be done. Over the last few weeks, I've been getting a lot of emails from people. Subscribers. Some subscribers, some not. Complaining about, mostly complaining about one individual. That individual being eBay is a joke. Now, let me tell you what I know about the man. I know nothing about him. I've never met him. I've never spoken to him in, per in person. I've never talked to him on the phone. All right? He makes his videos behind the mask, and I make mine. All right? When I first knew him, he was going by the ID Guitar Bridge Cleaner. And I got to tell you, he made a couple of good videos, and I'm not going to back down from that. He made two good videos at the very beginning talking about eBay and PayPal. 
So when he was the guitar bridge cleaner, I subscribed to him. And we'd trade emails back and forth, personal messages about eBay and stuff. Soon after, I'm not sure why he dumped that account or if, or, or if it got nuked or what. He came back as eBay is a joke. And he started something called eBay Stealth. Now, I told him, even from the very beginning, I said, I'm not comfortable with you coming out with a kid's mask on. It doesn't look good. It's not reputable. And he came back with a reason that there are people that are out to get him in his industry. I let it go. Because I had, you know, I didn't know the guy. I don't know. I let it go. All right? He started hawking this thing called eBay Stealth. Now, I don't really know what it is. But to me, when someone says stealth, it means under the cover of darkness. So I was leery of it. He also started hawking something called methrift.com and 95sunglasses.com or 995sunglasses. And he was, I'm going to use the word, I don't know if badgering is the correct word, but he was sending me emails asking me, not asking me, kind of pushing me to recommend these sites. And I'm not recommending anything that I'm not sure about, so I wouldn't do it. I did recommend his site ebayblows.org or as a paypalblows.org at the time because it sounded like a legit site against PayPal and I am for any site against PayPal and I'll say that again I don't care whose it is so time was going on and he was getting more and more pushy with me and he was having fights with a lot of YouTubers one that comes to my mind was a guy called Gators Rocks Tim T. Gators Rock Tim T, I think it is. He's been a sub of mine for quite a while. And he seemed to be a good guy. You know, he would write to me and tell me stuff. And he wrote me a lot of things about this guy, eBay is a joke. And at the time, I didn't have reason to either disbelieve him or believe him. It just wasn't important to me. I didn't care. I had my own venue, my own situation here on eBay. Recently, the heat got turned up. I brought in a bunch of new people. I didn't bring them in, but I recommended them and I gave them shouts out, including, I'm gonna name these people because I respect them. Spoke on Zaga, D.D. Sasso, Louis the Seller, Roper Rocca, and a few others who I can't think of right now. Soon after I recommended them, eBay is a joke, emailed me and said, why didn't you give me a shout out? And I think that's obvious, because I, I had my doubts about him. But you know what it is? I hate to be mean to somebody. I mean, if they're mean to me, that's one thing. I swear to God. In fact, we're going to get to that. i got a good one for you. If somebody does something to me, I will out them. And I had heard that people were having trouble with this guy. But again, it was secondhand mail. So about two weeks ago, when is when the trouble really started. A few people sent me links to websites about eBay as a joke in his industry. They sent me these links and I, you know, I, I decided I better start checking this stuff out because one guy wrote to me and said that eBay as a joke is telling everybody that him and I are a team and we're against all the new guys and that is not the case. There are some really gullible people out there. I'm going to introduce you to one of them real soon. You're not going to like them, because I don't either. So, there are some people that will believe anything they hear. I don't like making negative videos against anybody. 
I don't like making this video. This is freaking uncomfortable for me. And I shouldn't have to do it, but I I realized it's just it's to the, it's the critical mass now. Something's gonna blow any second. Right now, eBay is a joke. Is in a war with a bunch of people. I know Spoke and Zaga's put a bunch of videos out. I mean, Spoke and Zaga shows his face. Do I agree with everything he says? Hell no. Does he seem legit and, and genuine? Yes. My biggest complaint was with one word that Spoken Zaga used, and that was the word union. I do not like unions. All right? I had a bad experience with a union when I was a kid. I worked in a supermarket, and they did nothing but drain my paycheck. So, in that respect, I am for all of us getting together, all of us eBay sellers. I love the idea, but it's just the word union turns me off. No offense to you, Spoken Zaga. I'm just using this as an example. But I like the guy. Now, I've said to eBay as a joke many times, will you please take that freaking mask off? You look ridiculous. I said, you've got some good points about eBay and PayPal, because he did. I said, people will believe you more if you come out of the freaking closet. But no, the mask ain't coming off. He obviously has, there's something going on there, all right? Which leads me to the next thing. Could you hold on just one second? Or maybe I'll edit this out, just one second. Okay, back. Sorry about that. I'm not going to tell you where I went, but I, get, I bet you know. Alrighty, so... eBay is a joke. Has been emailing a lot of people, including me, saying, block this guy, block that guy. He, he gave me a list of names he wanted me to block, and I ignored it. I don't take orders from anybody. My wife left me because I don't take orders, okay? Now, unbeknownst to me, he sent the exact same letter to Spoken Zaga. And the only reason I found out about it was Spoken Zaga read the thing on one of his videos the other day. So I started putting two and two together. At the same time, somebody else who's fighting with eBay as a joke launched a personal attack against me. I think he did it because I wasn't speaking out against eBay as a joke. Now here's where it gets dicey and critical. Please pay attention. I hope I'm not boring you guys, but this is why I don't like to make this kind of video. All right? What I'm going to tell you is serious and I'm going to show you the paperwork. I went to the New York City Police Department on Friday. As it happens, I went to school with one of the people who is now an assistant prosecutor in Manhattan, 100 Center Street. So I said, you know, let me just get down, let me see them, and let me see what, I, what we can find out. And I took a bunch of paperwork that I had printed out from the various websites. And I went in there, and I wanted to film a video in there. Of course, they wouldn't let me. They said it violates... It says it, it could ruin something that's going on right now, and I don't want to... I'm not allowed to talk about that, or I'm going to get arrested. I had to sign a waiver. This is it. Take a good look. Notarized and all. 
all right? I had to sign a waiver. There are certain things I can't talk about, but there are certain things I can. All right? Somebody made a video about me. I want to talk about that, and you'll understand where, where this is going in a second. Nice when you have all your paperwork together. On May the 26th, I believe that was the date, a person signed on to YouTube with a brand new account specifically so they could make a video about me. Negging me and negating me. The person's screen name was brand new at the time, was Boss, one, two, three, four, five, six, A. The person made this anti crazy New York driver video, which I don't mind that, I accept that. He basically said that he sells on eBay, he takes returns, he pays return shipping, he takes PayPal, he kisses people's ass, and he says that I should kiss, kiss people's ass and that I don't know how to run a business. Again, that's his privilege. I don't mind that. I don't have a problem with it. But he filmed the entire video in the dark, and he came right up and said, I'm hiding my face. Now that got me concerned. Anyone that hides their face either is involved in criminality of some point, This is Joe speaking. No, no more. Okay. Christ. Anyone that hides their face is either involved in criminality of some kind or they have no self-esteem. There's no third reason. When I saw this video, I got concerned. All right? So, I decided to do a little investigating myself on this guy. In addition, he had the unmitigated gall to send it to me as a video response, and he wants me to approve it and put it on one of my videos. And he, in the video, after negating me and trashing me, says he wants to, de he wa he wants to de debate me. Who the hell is he? All right? So I decided to do some investigating. I know that no one in their right mind is going to join YouTube specifically to come at me. This is someone that was existing and has a bunch of screen names. I'll get to them in a second. I told you that I did not approve his request only because he would not appear in it. He's a coward. Had he appeared in it, I'd gladly add him to my video, and I'll add any one of you, even if you want to say bad stuff about me. It'll make for some drama, you know? In the comments section on his video, now I watched this, all right? I said, someone's going to slip up. He's going to slip up. A person by the name of Gators Rock, Gator yeah, Gators Rock T Gators Rock Tim T made a comment that said something to the effect, Hey Joe, how come you don't add this video as a video response because you add them from eBay as a joke? The reason, the real reason, was that I had changed my settings the month before, of course. He didn't know it. I didn't make it it wasn't a big deal. That's the reason I didn't add the video. And plus I wouldn't have added it anyway because he's hiding in the dark. But this name, Gators Rock Tim T, has been a subscriber of mine for a long time. And quite frankly, I had no problem with the guy. Him and I got along fine. He left me positive comments. Me and him, you know, went back and forth. But I knew right away that he was associated with the name Boss123456A. All right? I said, okay, now I got something to go on. 
So I decided to initiate my investigation. In addition to those names, he is going by the name Boss TRS. Gator, Gators is back. That's a new one. Gators is back. And who knows how many others. He is at war with eBay is a joke. Apparently, eBay is a joke stiffed him in some way. Does, does this guy boss Gators or whatever name he's going by today, does he have a gripe with eBay is a joke? Yes. Yes, he does. But he came after me. And I will not allow it. So, the following names are permanently blocked. Boss, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, A. Boss, T-R-S. G-A-T-O-R-S, R-O-C-K, T-I-M-T. Gators Rock Tim T. Gators is back, G-A-T-O-R-S-I-S, B-A-C-K. Blocked. For life. Grow a pair of balls and you can come back. All right? I never did anything to you, whoever the hell you are. I know who you are. I never did anything to you. All right? Ever. Never said a bad word about you. You jumped to the conclusion that I was in some consortium with eBay as a joke. That was your mistake. You'll pay for that mistake dearly. Let's talk about eBay as a joke. As I just said with this clown boss, I am suspicious of anyone who hides their face and has multiple accounts. Think about it. I've been on YouTube since 2007. It is now 2012. I am still using my same account. There's no reason to have three, four, five, twenty, thirty, unless you plan on doing something bad. All right? There's no reason for it. eBay is a joke is commenting on his own videos. If you go to any one of his recent videos, he's got a, a thread of about six or seven names and it's all the same guy. And he's talking like, like he's acting like it's four strangers or six strangers and it's all the same guy. Every one of them. eBay is a joke. Georgie Boy 762. eBay Screwed. Priest of Iron Machine. The Kitten Wars. DBCW3752. If you want to see where the, the video I'm referring to, they're on the eBay Stealth. eBay Mails to Prove Spoke and Zaga Love My Vids. So that's where we're at with this hater crap. I am Crazy New York Driver. All right, I don't take orders from anybody. I won't disrespect any of you. I don't want to be disrespected. All right? eBay is a joke. A lot of people have accused him of criminality. It's all over the internet. I've never met a more unpopular man. If you want my personal opinion, I don't know. I didn't have any dealings with the guy. I didn't buy anything off him. Who in their right mind would buy an eBay stealth account? Who in their right mind would donate $25 to somebody for, for the hell of it? You know, an ass is born every day. All right? What time is it? Anybody have the time? Oh, good. 
Let's see how long this is running. Oh, this is going to set new records, I can tell you that. Now, eBay is a joke. I have asked you so many times not to wear a mask. You're never going to take that freaking thing off. I'm sorry. I can't let this go on. I renounce you. You're done. I can't be with... I, I, not that I was ever with you. I can't... I can't even let these good people think that I'm associated with you. All right? The following names are blocked. All the ones I just read. I've been on YouTube all these years. I haven't had to block anybody. And today is Carnage Day. I blocked all these clowns. I still don't get it. You guys, with all due respect to you, you're wonderful people, most of you. You don't know how pissed off I was to see this clown make a video about me in the dark. After all the videos I've made in public like this, he's got to hide his face. He hates eBay as a joke, and I, I, I understand where he's coming from there. And he goes and he does the same stupid thing eBay is a joke does. How idiotic is that? That's like me saying, I hate PayPal. And PayPal sucks, and I go right out and use it. Ain't gonna happen. How can people be like that? He, and, and then, Boss came back and made a few more videos. He made one about eBay as a joke. All right? He, he, he took the one down about me. I don't know if he took it down or if it got flagged or something. I have no idea, and I'm not concerned. I'll handle that on my own. But... I was reading the comments, and I want to thank you. I want to thank all the public out there for going to bat for me and putting him back in his place. All right? I've come out here for five years, you've seen me. During good times and bad, I've been here for you. All right? Let it go. Okay, guys, let me make a summation here, and hopefully I will never have to make another video like this. You know who I am. If you like me, and I hope you do, keep watching my videos and leave me positive comments. If you don't like me and want to leave a negative comment, you can do that. I don't mind. Say anything you want, but make it on topic, okay? If you want to make a video response to me, I will accept all video responses as long as you have your face and your voice. That's important. The days of working under rocks in darkened rooms are over. Take off the mask. I want to see who you are. All right? I know my mailbox is going to be freaking full tonight. Comments below. Oh boy. Such is life. What can I say? If any one of you want to contact me privately about any of the issues raised today, I'll be more than happy to talk with you. I must tell you that there are certain things I cannot discuss at this point. All right? Remember, you are responsible for your own words when you make these videos. You might think you're anonymous, but you're not always anonymous. All right? I'm crazy New York driver and you're not.
Try and make it a good day. And let's have a better tomorrow. Cheers to the Gatorade.